So here I am with my Marshall's jacket on. This gives me a chance to have a little look around and show you some of the site while well, these guys are still on lunch and then I'll try and get some interesting footage of different people. Snipers, there's a guy coming out with a saw which I've got to have, I'm going to have one eventually. A uh, little sign here. Dead end. Um, I definitely want to get some footage of the guy with the saw because the saw between me and you looks bigger than him. He's tiny. <laughs> and he's borrowed it off somebody. So yeah, as we come across, this is actually in-game here, where we are. And if I turn it round, you can see the terrain is where you need a proper pair of good quality boots, especially for your ankle, because it's quite easy to go over on this stuff. Uh, and here's an objective here, so it may be within a 10 metre radius. There will actually be a fight around this area. Quite cool. So as I come across this little lesbian, uh, this little dyke, nice to fight in this sort of environment rather than just the static flat area with wooden triangles that you get in paintball so all this area is playable so a perfect place for like snipers to be hiding up in the trees and places things like that uh, as we bring it round we'll go up this path here and this brings us up to i should have brought me gimbal i'll bring me gimbal next time so i apologize if i'm a little bit shaky 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 camera as we come up here which might not look it, but because it's slippy underfoot, actually is energy draining, especially when there's no veggie burgers. So all I've had is body tweaks. So as we come up here, you can see the terrain changes. All this hill all the way up there is playable, so you could get DMR or marksman up on the top there, especially if the objective is down here. You could be firing down here because you know they may possibly come in up here. That's one way. And as we come up, the terrain changes again into open grassland here. And I probably will show you later in the video. This point here, there was two guys. One was shot, there was a medic here. And these trees here in front of us. This is where I swapped the weapon to left-handed and I was getting some pot shots off. But due to the goggles bloody steaming up, I couldn't see a bloody thing. So as we come here into this open area, the playing field then opens up, up here, you can see it's all bracken along this beautiful handmade cobblestone wall, proper Yorkshire, real beautiful feel to it. And as we come out over to this open area, right down at the far end is where there is a respawn. And all the way down here into this valley, I just work our way down, the grass underneath is really quite spongy. And there's another objective there. So, as we come down here, at the beginning, the very first objective was down here, and I didn't have a clue where the objective was, and I don't think many people did. And over this little sort of gully here, in this thick grass, this is really wet and spongy down here especially down in this area and as we go over the top that's all it let's go over bloody bad knee oh. as we come down here it's kind of mulchy that's when we come down to the valley down here so you gotta be very careful when you're holding the weapon in your hands and you're trying to get down here easy to slip tip straight down there into the beck at the bottom but what a fantastic way to engage other players up on the ravine here straight across fantastic I can only imagine it's fantastic when you can't see because your goggles are misty. <laughs> but anyway, so as we move up, it changes again into this sort of thick. I don't know what this is. It's really wiry and thick, and it's really cool when you're actually laying down with the bipod and fighting. And here we have a we have a lagoon. So that's just a little look at the fantastic site they've got here up at respawn so if you haven't tried it it really is enjoyable you've just got to get your head around where the objectives are but that's with everything i think next time i go back and do the yorkshire paintball site it'd be certainly a lot more enjoyable because i start to know where the cessna is and where this and where the close quarters area is so this is definitely a little bit more hardcore than the first one and regarding this ncp thing with axes and stuff i haven't seen any of that so whether i'm missing it I haven't got a clue, but there are quite a lot of new players here, which is a good thing. And like with all these videos, 
nobody judges anybody and that's the fantastic thing about it so I shall crack on and I shall get some footage of players in the field and I try and get some of that bloody saw love it <laughs> 